much more do you think anybody can freaking take? Shut your mouth. I don't want to hear another word out of your mouth. You have likely seen that viral video of an Amherst bus driver yelling at students. Tonight, we're hearing her side of the story. She spoke with our Bree Buckley about the moments leading up to what you saw in that video. And Bree, what did she tell you? Well, Russ, first off, she says the last couple days have been tough and upsetting. She's been a bus driver for 15 years in different parts of the country, about two years here at Amherst. She tells me she misses the kids she drove every day, calling the majority of them smart and wonderful. As for the support, well, that's been a shock for her. How much more do you think anybody can freaking take? This video has been viewed on TikTok nearly 3 million times. Sick of you. I'm sick of all of the I'm done with it. I'm going to start kicking some of the Serious Now Amherst bus driver Jackie Miller is sharing what you don't see in the video. That particular day was challenging, uh, to say the very least, because it started the minute this core group of students had gotten on the bus. She says a group of kids on her bus constantly act out, purposefully instigating her for the last couple of years, and she finally had enough. I'm sorry the way this went down. I truly am. I do apologize for my actions on that day, but I won't take it back. She tells me she suffers from asthma and strong fragrances trigger her attacks. One student yelled that another had sprayed perfume which led to what you see. I didn't spray anything. I'm allergic to this This after she tells me she just had an attack last month. And she sprayed perfume on the bus and I had a horrible asthma attack. I had stopped the bus, grabbed my inhaler, and just try and get my lungs to open up again. I had all the kids open up all the windows, but they know this. Amid a nationwide bus driver shortage, Jackie says this is partially why. This is a plight of all bus drivers. We are treated in the worst possible sense of the word. My foot's gonna be so far up your gonna dangle out your nose. That saying now on a t-shirt sold by Mistakes on the Lake Apparel Company in Vermilion. We all kind of just felt for her in that moment. Like we've all had bad days. We've all gone through hardships and we just kind of, I think our hearts just kind of bled for her. Shop owner Jackie Adkins donating $5 of each t-shirt sale to the bus driver since she's now without a job after resigning. As support from a GoFundMe page started for her continues to soar. There's just no words to say how grateful that I am, you know, for the people that have supported me. I spoke to the Amherst superintendent tonight. He tells me multiple students have been disciplined following this incident, though he couldn't give specifics on how many, what they're being disciplined for, or how. As for Jackie, she hopes to be a bus driver again soon. She tells me she drove disabled adults for years in Cleveland, and Russ, she hopes to get back to something like that. Uh, certainly. Okay, Bree Buckley, thank you. Of course.